Dodgeball. Dodgeball is a team sport in which players on two teams try to throw balls and hit opponents while avoiding being hit themselves. The objective of each team is to eliminate all members of the opposing team by hitting them with thrown balls, catching a ball thrown by an opponent, or inducing an opponent to commit a violation such as stepping outside the court. The sport is mostly played in schools under varying rules and also formally as an international sport under rules that vary among international governing bodies, such as the World Dodgeball Federation, WDBF, which runs the Dodgeball World Championship, and the World Dodgeball Association, WDA. USA Dodgeball is the governing entity for dodgeball in the United States, with member leagues and clubs across the nation. Equipment There are many different ball types used around the world, including 8.5-inch rubber, no-sting rubber, foam, and cloth. USA Dodgeball uses all ball types across multiple tournaments held by them and their member organizations. The World Dodgeball Federation used primarily foam for their first world championships, but starting with 2022, both cloth and foam categories were introduced. The WDBF specifies the use of six balls with six players per side for their world championships. Various rule sets governing number of balls and players are used around the world depending on the court size, level of play, and the organization's discretion. The WDA specifies the use of five balls. Certain national rule sets, such as in Austria, specify six. Amateur games typically use from three to ten balls, the number tailored to the size of the court and the number of players. More balls generally adds to the amount of action in a game, but can result in stalemate with many blocks. If there are too few balls, the element of stealth is removed as players can see all the balls that might hit them. Court Dodgeball can be played on any surface that has clearly marked boundaries and a center line, such as a basketball or volleyball court or fenced area. Elite Dodgeball specifies a court 50 feet, 15 meters, by 25 feet, 7.6 meters, where a zone 10 feet, 3.0 meters, wide at the junction of the areas is a neutral zone. Games can also be played outdoors on a soccer pitch or football field. The WDBF organizes games on beaches, and USA Dodgeball hosts tournaments at trampoline parks. The WDBF organizes games on beaches, and USA Dodgeball hosts tournaments at trampoline parks. WDBF specifies a court 60 feet, 18 meters, by 30 feet, 9.1 meters, with no neutral zone. The attacking lines and center lines are of vital importance. A team can stand in its attacking area and throw the balls to opponents. Match play. Length of game. Informal matches of dodgeball are typically played until all players on one side are out. In WDBF guidelines, matches last a total of 40 minutes. These are split into two 20-minute halves, during which as many sets as possible are played, a set lasts until all players on one side are out. One point is awarded for every set won. Teams switch sides at halftime. Starting the game. In informal dodgeball, balls are initially distributed to players by one of the following methods. By even distribution to two teams, by being lined up on the central dividing line. In this latter option, players then rush toward the center line to grab one of the balls. This is called the opening rush. It is never legal to immediately throw such a ball at an opponent. A player grabbing a ball on the center line retreats or throws it back to a teammate. In WDBF regulations, the ball must be returned behind an attack line, roughly a third of the way from the back of the court. Players may only run for the balls on the left side of the court, while the middle ball will be contested. Gameplay Following distribution, players aim to hit one another. A ball is considered live from the moment it leaves a player's hand up until it touches the floor, wall, or ceiling when it becomes dead. If a player is hit by an opponent's live ball, they are out. If the ball is dead, there is no hit. If a player catches a live ball, the opponent who threw the ball is out and a player on the catcher's team is revived from the out box. However, if they fail to secure the catch, leading to them dropping the ball, the failed catcher is out. In WDBF regulations, players may block a throw with another ball. In this situation, the thrown ball remains live as it has not hit the floor or a wall and so can be caught or can still hit a player out. If the blocker drops the ball used to block, they have failed to keep their ball secure and are out. 
Dead balls that leave the court can only be returned to players by each team's designated ball retrievers. Stepping outside the court, including stepping on a boundary line or entering the opponent's zone, is a violation. Other violations include kicking a ball, displaying bad sportsmanship, and stalling. Having a ball for over 10 seconds and doing nothing with it. The penalty is that the violator is out. Optional Rules Optional rules may be in effect in informal games of dodgeball or in open matches by agreement. 1. Head shots, thrown balls that hit an opposing player in the head, may either result in the thrower being out or the person being hit being out, or neither. 2. In jail ball, players who are out go to jail, behind the opponent's back line. They can return to the game if they capture a dead ball or capture a dead ball and throw it and hit an opponent. 3. In games played on a basketball court, thrown balls that hit the backboard or go into the goal, even if deflected by a player or another ball, may have special status, such as returning all eliminated teammates to the court. When there are so few players on the court that dodging the ball is easy, no lines may be declared. This means that there are no team zones. Players can go anywhere on the court to get a better shot at an opponent. Tactics The following basic tactics are useful. Thrower location Move toward the neutral zone to attack. Stay on the back line when not attacking. Do not stand in another player's line of sight. Do not turn your back to the opponents. Coordinated attack. Call out to teammates to coordinate multiple attacks on the same opponent, preferably from very different angles. Number the opponents left to right and call out an attack target by number. Throwing technique. Throw with one hand. Aim below the waist to avoid getting caught or making a headshot. Throw when the opponent is distracted. Learn to throw balls so that they curve. Many local teams and international teams develop their own tactics and calling systems specific to their style of play. These become more complex in higher leagues, which often requires specific training for the players in calling positions such that they can make rapid tactical decisions. Competitions The main dodgeball competition is the Dodgeball World Championship held by the World Dodgeball Federation, WDBF. The competition takes place annually since 2012. It was initially an open event but stopped being an open event as the membership grew and now works by qualification. In 2021, WDBF's membership reached 80 members, all also members of the relevant continental federations. Circle Dodgeball In some elementary schools in the United States, a version is played using a circular court. The team outside the circle has the ball or balls, and the team inside must evade the thrown balls. The players who are hit with the ball may change places with the person who hit them, or they may be out of the game and the last person remaining unhit may be the winner. There are variants. Similar games in other countries. On the Indian subcontinent, a variation of the game is played called Sekintadi. This is slang used for slamming the hip. Other names are Jendtadi and Marampiti. In China, a variation of the game is played called Ju Shao Bao. Instead of a ball, the game is played with a small round sandbag, which is also known as the Shao Bao. In Belgium and the Netherlands, a variation is known as Tussen Twee Vuren, Between Two Fires, which is commonly played in schools. In Poland, a variation is known as Dwa Ogni, Two Fires, which used to be common in schools. In Afrikaans South African schools, a variation named Brandball, Burning Ball, is played with a tennis ball inside a designated area such as a rugby field or tennis court. The objective is for the person in possession of the ball to hit any other player with the ball, in which case the person last hit becomes the next one chasing and hitting the others. A secondary objective is to hit players by throwing as hard as possible, leading to the burning sensation. In popular culture, International Dodgeball Day is June 30. The 2004 movie Dodgeball, a true underdog story, revived interest in the sport, especially among young adults. Also in 2004, Extreme Dodgeball, a dodgeball tournament broadcast as a game show, aired. The video game Stickbold, a dodgeball adventure, Stickbold being the Danish word for dodgeball, features the sport of dodgeball, although the rules vary slightly from the actual game. In the third episode of the 2007 animated series Total Drama Island, the protagonists of a fictional game show have to compete in a game of dodgeball until only players on one of the teams remains. Controversies 
The risk of injury from dodgeball and the notion that gameplay resembles assault have led to controversies, lawsuits, and even calls to eliminate the game from school physical education programs. World Records University of California, Irvine reclaimed the record for the largest game of dodgeball on September 25, 2012 with 6,084 participants. The previous largest game of dodgeball had been played by 4,979 participants at the University of Alberta on February 3, 2012. The longest recorded game of dodgeball was played on April 27th to 29th, 2012 at the Castleton State College in Vermont. It lasted for 41 hours, 3 minutes, 17 seconds. See also Dodgeball ranking List of dodgeball variations U.S. Intercollegiate Dodgeball Champions Dodgeball World Championship Thank you for listening right to the end. My name is Stacy Hewen and it is a pleasure to read these articles to you. Of course, because these have no opinion or commentary added, we will not be answering questions about the subject matter in any of the comment sections. If you are watching this on YouTube, you will be seeing the references on screen right now, and I highly encourage everyone to check out the references and the article as well as the See Also links if you have any further interest in the topic. If you wish to support this podcast, subscribing and sharing with your friends is the absolute best thing you can do. Spread the word. We would love to have more suggestions as to topics that you would like to hear, so please, of course, put them in the comments or email them to wikipediaab at gmail.com. Once again, my name is Stacy Hewen, and thank you for listening.